Hi, I'm Luna. I'm Talia. I'm Emma. Who do you respect? Our, our classmates because they're our peers. peers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Luna. I'm Sophia. How can you show respect? By just being kind to others. Thank you. What are some ways you can show respect through our actions? Respect can be shown in, in a lot of different actions. The easiest thing you can do, all right, is, is be respectful to the person talking to you, right? You want to look at them and you want to be quiet when we're talking. Like, you in the back, hey, back there. Guys, listen to me talking right now. Shh. I hear you all talking in the seats. Quiet. Listen. Listen to what I'm saying. Shh. Listen to the morning show. All right, be respectful when somebody is speaking. Listen to them, make good eye contact. All right, and that is the easiest way you guys can do it, students. Thank you. I'm here with Dr. Paz. Dr. Paz, do you gain or earn respect? I think it's a two-way street. Um, you know, we have a golden rule here in our high school and it's you treat others the way you want to be treated and i think that's the perfect slogan that really demonstrates that it's a two-way street um i think if you're kind if you're respectful if you have an open mind and again if you treat others the way you would want to be treated um respect comes about very naturally and very easily thank you dr Paz. have a great but go today i'm here with miss gonzalez why is it important to show respect to others even if they're different from us so I feel like it, you know, it emphasizes on diversity, uh, making sure everybody's feeling heard and um, included, even if, you know, we all don't come from the same place. Um, it's definitely important to foster that um, collaborative environment where everybody, like, does their part. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. No problem. How would you define respect in the context of a school environment? I feel like respect is like listening, help, being helpful, mainly just not um, going against what somebody says. Let's say like a teacher is telling you directions to something. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should just listen to them because if not, then it's just not going to work out for you or the teacher or like anybody else who's trying to tell you something. Thank you. Do you earn or gain respect? Um, I think you earn respect. It's like credit. So we're like where you do good stuff and you gain respect. You do good stuff and you gain respect. It's not just like you walk in because you're like the like the smartest guy or the coolest guy. You automatically get like the most respect. You gotta you gotta earn it. You know, by having a good personality and doing good things for other people. You know, just being a good person. All around. Thank you. Okay, so in what ways do you believe teachers can cultivate a culture of respect among students? Uh, I think it starts, like, leadership starts at the top, and in your classroom, the teacher tries to be the leader of the room. So, you know, you have to respect your students and show them that, you know, you care about them and you're there to help them. So I think that once you're showing that you're respectful of all of them and that you won't tolerate disrespect um, toward yourself or and you're not disrespectful towards the students, I think that that's what the culture you'll see in the classroom. Thank you very much. Good morning, Bogota High School. Today is Thursday, October 10th, 2024. Today's weather calls for sun with a high of 62 degrees. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Basco will be meeting again on Thursday, October 10th at 2.40 in Room 1. New and returning members are welcome to attend. Good morning, Bucks. The Bogota Bucks cheer team is excited to announce that their online virtual store is now open. This is your chance to grab all your Bucks spirit gear, from t-shirts and hoodies to accessories, and show your school pride and style. Team members will be going around with the catalog today and until Monday next week asking if you'd like to place an order. You can also visit the store online at BSN Sports. Please check the following flyer and place your orders today. Not only will you look great, but every purchase helps support your Bucks cheer team as we cheer on our school sports teams all season long. For more details, please reach out to Coach Gonzalez in Room 27. Go Bucks! Attention Newspaper Club, please attend our next meeting on Wednesday, October 9th to discuss potential article topics, newly assigned positions, and more. See you there. Being creative with hair and makeup, do you like helping others look fabulous? Join Glam Squad. You may join using classroom code B-N-D-O-Y-L-K. Please see Ms. Hogesane in the library slash media center with questions. Attention students, please see the attached tutoring schedule for the weeks ahead. Take advantage of this great opportunity. The Robotics Club meets on Thursdays at 2.45 p.m. in the room 7. Anyone is welcome. No peer experience necessary. The Environmental Club members have distributed blue and green bins to all the classrooms and offices. Green bins are for paper and blue bins are for cans and bottles. If you have not received the bins, please email Ms. Carr or Dr. Murphy ASAP. Thank you all for supporting the recycling initiative. Attention class of 2026. The PSAT will take place during the school day on October 16, 2024. It, is, it costs $18 and cash is a preferred method of payment. If interested, please sign up and remit payment to Ms. Kate Berlin in the main office by 2.40 on Wednesday, October 9th. There will be a senior class bake sale this afternoon. Seniors, please sign up in the Google Classroom and bring your baked goods to Mr. Shensky's class. Check out the Pagoda Business Club. The Business Club will hold its monthly meeting next week. There will be an art club meeting this afternoon in the art room. If you have questions, stop by and see Mr. O'Boyle. Thank you for watching our morning show. We hope to see you on Friday. And as always, have a great Pagoda Buck day.